Today, Sandy Tennis Studio will show you how to do a surf with slice. Our first step will be to grab the racket as a hammer and for those that are beginners they can grip the racket using an ease grip. This will be easier for them to hit the ball with direction. So the second step will be to have a pretty good base in our feet. So we will do a, a close stance here. Our front leg pointing diagonal and our back leg pointing horizontal will help us to have good hip mobility in our surf. Not vertical or horizontal. We want to use also the hip. So in this way we will be able to do it. So the following in our second step will be to put our weight in our front leg and then try to kind of bounce back and then when we are going to toss the ball going forward. So then we are going to progress to our third step and it will be to put our feet together and then stick our hip out. Now I'm going to show you how to toss the ball. This is very, very important in our surf. That way you will have control. So whatever you want to hit the ball, you will be able to do it. Try not to throw the ball, you know, too forward, too back, you know, too behind your back, or also like this. So try to toss the ball straight. Now, the third step will be the point of impact. Look, the racket is hitting on the top of the ball and also to the side. Just milliseconds before the point of impact, the racket has to lean down while the arm is going forward, trying to add the ball speed and depth. But try to accelerate the racket as fast and loose as you can. So remember, it's very important for you to have a good grip, good base, good stability, but also it's very important for you to hit the ball on the top and the side of the ball. But it's also very important for you to create good slice and good serves to be loose with your racket. It's very important for your body to create energy, but it's also very important that your mind, your arm, muscles and wrist are losing. And lastly, try to turn and finish as far and fast as you can. 